we saw in our last slide is with silicon, I can create p-type material and n-type material. When I put the two together, I get a p-n junction called a diode. Here I'd like to look at what the voltage VI characteristics are for a diode. The objective is, from the VI characteristics, determine a linear circuit model that allows us to analyze circuits containing diodes and find the current through a diode in a simple circuit. The VR characteristics for diode are exponential in nature. As the voltage increases, the current goes up exponentially. The constants, I0, is the reverse saturation current. That's the current I get through a diode when I try to force current through it backwards. Typically, for silicon, it's about 2 times 10 to the minus 8 amps. V sub D is the it's a constant nu which is roughly 2 for silicon, times V sub T, about 26 millivolts at 300 Kelvin. Uh, one in these equations, make sure that the current is zero when the voltage is zero. E to the zero power is one. I need to subtract one to make sure that current is zero when voltage is zero. The net result is current and voltage is exponential in nature as shown in the graph on the right. That creates a problem. If I have a circuit with a diode, I have a nonlinear set of equations to solve. For example, suppose I've got a 5 volt source driving a 1000 ohm resistor driving a diode. From this, find the voltage and current through the diode. One way to do that is take the circuit and split it. Looking left, the voltage and current are related by the 5 volt source and 1000 ohm resistor. The current that I draw is going to be 5 volts minus the volts across the diode, whatever that is, divided by 1,000 ohms. That gives me the current through the resistor, which is I sub D. Looking right, however, I know the current voltage relationship is defined by the diode, the nonlinear exponential equation. It gives me two equations to solve with, for two unknowns, which in theory you can do. One way to solve two equations for two unknowns when they're nonlinear is to graph them. If I look left and look at the 5 volt source, 1000 ohm resistor, I get the green line, the straight line. When the current is zero, I've got 5 volts across the diode. If I short the diode, make the current zero, I'll get 5 milliamps. Two points determine a line, that's a linear circuit, so the current and voltage will be related by the green straight line. If I look left, I get the diode equation, the exponential. That gives me the current being a function of voltage as shown by the blue line. The intersection right here is your solution. For that circuit, the voltage is going to be 0.6392 volts and the current 4.36 milliamps. A second way to solve that set of equations is to use function equals zero. If I solve for voltage using the diode equation, so first if I guess current, I can solve for the voltage across the diode using the diode equation. Once I know the voltage across the diode, I can solve for the current using the voltage source and the resistor. Keep on iterating till the difference in those two currents is zero. On the right, you see the difference in the two currents based upon the voltage that you, or the current that you guess. Your solution will be right here. When the function equals zero, when the current based upon the voltage and resistor is equal to the current as computed by the diode. 